So part two, that's right, he's running over there stupidly. So now we're gonna paint it and weld it. So that's it. More, 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 more. I'm gonna drop that down there and then we're gonna paint it. So all that's done over here, look. All the wind bracing's all ready. Are you capable of driving that? Yeah. That's right, yes. We only employ special people here. Can you put it into reverse? Can you put it into reverse? And he's out. Now we're gonna paint it. We're painting them now. All done. Got one of these like, airless paint sprayer. This is a must. So much quicker and easier. So there we are. I'm gonna paint it green next. So the first two posts, ready to go up, just here. What well, did I numbered them all so I know which side to go where. So this one's number five N. So number five, so that one's six, five, four, three, two, one. And N means north, so north that way. And then the other side is one to six S, so south. And what I've also done, I've drilled these holes just here so that I can put a shackle through it and lift them up because it's a lot easier than trying to put a strap around it and dangle them because they, they sort of, when you stand them up, they're on like diagonals, whereas if they're picked up in the middle, they'll stand up straight and they'll go on the bolts a lot easier as well. Just cut these steel 20 mil packers out and they will sit just there. So the post will sit on top of them to give us a gap so we can pull the grout round when we're done. So it just spaces it up a bit so the grout will run in the holes. Look at that. The old hole drilling precision is pretty good. Straight on there. Right, so all the posts are up. I'm just putting these bars on just here. Because the next thing we're going to do is put the wood... Oh yeah, I forgot. I've had to take that post down because... Um, I've welded one of them cleats on that side instead of this side, so it's easy just to take it down and re-weld it. But typical schoolboy error of doing that. But anyway, it'll be back out in a minute and then we'll put that one back up there and then uh, we're gonna put the wood across just here like this to support it all. Wind bracing in just there like that. And then we'll start putting these rafters in. So yeah, that's what I've just been doing, that bit. Bolt the first one together. Fitted perfectly. Holes drilled. Let me get the wood in and then put one of these up with the wind bracing to hold it all. There we are, putting these bits of wood in. Got the wind bracing in just here, like this. Um, I haven't painted it yet because I didn't know if it was going to fit. Cause I didn't know if my mathematical genius skills of measuring were going to be correct. But yeah, it's where they're put it like a glove. So I'll paint that at a later date when we go around touching everything up. But right, wood's in. Next thing to do is lift this up and bolt this up here. It's easier said than done. This first one's always the hardest one. So we've got two JCBs. So the 12 meter one there will lift this up. And then this one here, we'll put it up there and we'll strap it to it because obviously you can't just leave it there dangling like that because it'll pull the whole shed over. So we'll put that one up, strap it to that one and then whilst this has got hold of this one, we will then lift the other one up to here and put it there. And then we'll put the wind bracing in. So it, 
it supports it, then we can take this away. So then there's one full bay that's obviously holding it all together. Quite a big bit of RSJ going up now. Lift. Tight under there. Right back from tea break. Got jack legs down. First bit of steel is up. So we're gonna go up there now and bolt them up, bolt them up, lift that up, strap it up, support that, put this next one in. So now she is all bolted up. We'll lift this one up to support support it so we can take the other JCB down and lift the next one up. Right now we're going to take this one down and away we go. So the other JCB's now got that RSJ so we'll take this down and then we'll put the next one up. Next one laid out, bolting it together now and doing it up with a big socket then we'll lift that one up there. Next one is going up. Just putting the jack legs down, inch by inch, and then it will level level me up on here on this spirit level. It's not quite level look, just slightly off zero, but that's probably because the floor's not quite level yet, because we've been running on it and it's probably sunk a bit. So every time we put one of these RSJs up, we want to try and get it as close to zero as possible. Mm -hmm. Just twist that there like that, and in we go. God, I'm good. Can't believe we drilled all the holes in the right place. And just give in that a little nudge. Just get the bolts in the right place and that, and down a little bit, and we're there. So all the wind bracing is now in. We've taken the JCBs away, so it's being supported all by its own weight. These are here, so this this bay is now completely braced, and this this bay will like hold the whole shed, so we won't have to put any more of these in. It's only this first bay that has it all. So we'll lift this next one up, and then what we'll do, we'll put like two bits of wood up the top, so a bit of wood there, a bit of wood there, and then we'll put that up, two bits of wood, that one, two bits of wood, that one, two bits of wood, and then, yeah, same, all the way to the end. So it's looking pretty good, so that's day one over. So tomorrow we'll concentrate on doing that and then putting all the rafters in the roof. It's looking good. Day two, gonna get the rest of the steel work up today. And then we're gonna um, put all the wood in the roof, ready for netting the roof and roofing it in the next few days. Got my harness on again, ready to go in the cherry picker. So away we go. All the steel is now in the roof. Put one row in now actually just to support it all. So that's all hold together. So now we've got to put seven, seven bits of wood there, seven there, seven there, and vice versa. And um, I think we need 65 lengths of wood in the roof. So I've got to get 65 lengths of wood and put them all in the roof. And then we're going to be ready for netting all the roof and then putting the roof on. This is a good view from up here, a little bit windy. But just the first bit of wood in, just there like that look. So yeah, I'm just gonna do this all the way along. <laughs> really heavy to lift up by yourself, really heavy. So end of day two, the steel's all in and the wood is all in the roof. 
getting a little bit dark now, but we've had a good day at it. It's looking really good. Right, so I've got the sheets out. These are the fixings. These things here. So you don't have to pre-drill these or anything. They just drill straight through it with a tech gun. I mean, obviously, when it, when it pulls them down to there, it pulls that rubber nice and tight so the water can't get in it. So just getting all the materials ready. So the first sheet... We need we need an overhang on the end here. We need 35 mil for the cladding. The cladding's still got to go on it, and then it's got to go into the gutter. So we're going to leave about a 90 mil overhang of the sheet, so that the cladding can sit underneath it, and then the gutter can sit on it. Because otherwise, if we if we did it level with the wood, the water would run down inside the cladding. So we don't want to do that. But um, I've got to go away for a day or two now. So I've got some contractors coming in to put the roof on for me because it's a I wouldn't say it's a specialist job, but it's uh, I'm too heavy to go on the roof. So they're going to come in, they're going to net it, they're going to hand rail it, and then they're going to uh, then they're going to roof it. And they've told me they'll roof it in a day, but but half a day to net it, half a day to hand rail it, and then a day to day to clad it, and then another day to take it down. So it's about three days worth of work on the roof. So the roof is on. Got all the roof lights in. I put the tractor at the end to light all the building up, the ATS. Yeah, really, really pleased. They've been, they put the roof on, they've taken the nets away, and they've gone home. What more could I ask? Got the ATS, I've just angled the lights up just to point at the roof so we can see it. So it's quite dark. There it is, all on. Gotta go around, touch a bit of this steel work up with a bit of paint. What they've done, you see on the floor here they've got all these bits here which have cut the corners off so they cut the corner of all the sheets off apart from the top rows this is what's called mitering so you cut it off so that when all four sheets meet they sit flat so that's the end of part two so look at the AS look with all the lights looking good and cheap AS265 yeah, so that's the end of part two. So I'm going to do part three, where I'm going to uh, obviously put all the concrete panels in, put all the cladding on, put all the, the steels in for the ends, and then probably do the door. And then I'll probably do a part four on the, uh, on the uh, concrete floor. But, oh look, they've even left me a sign up, look. These are the chaps who come and put the roof on for me. They help me with all my stuff. So T4 Construction and Maintenance, Agricultural Servicing, Roofing, Cladding and Steelwork, Insulation and they're asbestos specialists to remove all that because they're all trained in that and there's matey's number so good work lads yeah really please don't forget subscribe to me it makes every every little bit of difference all these few little followers makes me happy